What's going on, big mans? Uh, so today we got a quick video for y'all. Um, I'm trying to test a theory with these three-pack blisters. Um, so basically what the theory is is that you can, you're guaranteed at least an ultra rare or maybe a rare out of every one of these three packs because technically one in three is uh the guaranteed ratio uh from pokemon so if that's the case then what's the point in buying blister packs anymore when you can just buy these three packs if you see them and you're guaranteed something so let's uh let's test the theory and crack the first one open and move these guys out of the way so i got four of these total to open up right now and uh Wow. Yeah, so we'll we'll have uh we can test a theory with four blisters. Jeez, man. Oh, we didn't smell them to see if they smelled like cake first. Hold on. Yeah, not a reseal. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so jeez man. They sealed the pack onto the freaking crimping. All right, and normally I would save some time by opening these beforehand, but I wanted to show you that they're coming out of the three pack blisters and uh, yeah, so let's see how it works out. Man, I'm having trouble opening today. All right, so Let's just roll through them. Skitty. Strap inch. Oh, we see something. Butterfree V Max right off the rip. Alright, so. <laughs> so maybe maybe there is not gonna be anything in the other two. And and that's that's the theory. That's that's why we're here. That's the theory we're testing. Oh, there's a code card for you guys. Alright. Aside from the code cards I'll be showing you in this video, um, comment down below um, and we'll include the email address um, in the description below uh, as, uh, yeah, words. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to read the cards at the same time. So yeah, nothing. Um, include your email. Wait, what was I? You know, brain. All right, so here's another code card. Let me start that over. In the description down below is gonna be our email. Email us uh, for some more code cards. Wow, that was not that difficult. So we'll send you a handful of code cards. I have boxes of them. It's another code card for y'all. All right, oh, yeah, I'm not even on camera. Anyway, so Soul Rock and okay, okay. So we did get a Hollow Arc result. That's not bad at all. And, and I'm just tossing the energies in the garbage. I have way too much bulk to worry about energies. All right. So and then here's the next one. Toss that out of the way. Here's some space. All right. Yeah, I adjusted my setup a little bit here, so this is the first video with uh, with the new angle and getting used to it, so bear with me on that. You know, if there is at least a hyper rare in one of these things, let's go Cherry Zard, right? <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. See if we get any. Okay, okay. Atherita and Vanilux. Regular rare. Asura, that's for you guys. All right. That was one of three. Schnabs. 
GG. <laughs> Missed the mime. Electric. Ooh, nice reverse hollow. I like reverse hollow rares. And the goth bell. Alright. Brain's doing a thing. Another code card for you guys. Okay, so there has to be at least a hollow in this next pack, right? At has to be at least a hollow in this next pack one out of every three i mean i know that's not how uh statistics work but you know theoretically it should lissapod and look look at that i don't think we got a hollow out of any of these or did we get one off the first one let's see no i don't think so well, it looks like the theory is failing us right now. I don't know. Or, I mean, I guess increased chances? Because it, it's possible that out of the factory, the packs that get made, you know, are... It's... You know how, like, a booster box it would be three... Or for booster boxes you're guaranteed a certain amount of hollows and hyper rares and stuff like that so maybe it's the same process with these three pack that let's say hyper you know theoretically they could put them um, straight into these blisters instead of Ooh, okay there we go all right so that last one failed us but this one got us a scissor v Another code card. Basuda. All right. Let's see, let's see. So after pulling that, my I definitely feel like my chances of pulling anything else past that is slim to none. Okay, so I got a hollow. I got two white packs out of this one. I don't know, maybe it's still just up to the luck. But I like to think that you have better odds of pulling something out of these three blisters. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, nothing. Alright, and the last one. So if we're three for four, that's not bad odds, honestly. And I would recommend getting these over the single blisters. Of course, the, if the single blisters are all that's in the store, then, I mean, it is what it is, right? But, you know. Let's go. You know what I really like to do? Open up one of those like mini god pack things again, where it's nothing but reverse hollows. <laughs> Abuto and a muck. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so the reason, as, as you see in our other videos, the reason why um, we were not doing code cards in the video was so that one person doesn't watch the video and then get all of them. So. We, it doesn't matter. We, we still have tons of them. Email us. Email's in the description below. And we'll send you code cards. We appreciate the views and the follows and another hollow. Boom. So, we don't play. Big Man and myself don't play um, the online TCG. So, they're all for you guys. All right, so I didn't, this one's gotta have uh, something in it. Or nothing. So, I mean, I did get a hollow out of the pack. So, so far out of those four blisters, only one of them did not have at least a hollow. Two of them had V, well, one had a V, one had a V max. Um, so 
Really? That's not that bad. Uh, I've had way worse luck buying individual packs that weren't from a booster box. Um, yeah. So, if you're gonna buy packs, obviously the booster box is the way to go. Um, or these three pack blisters. Plus, I mean, these three pack blisters always get you a, a bonus promo card, man. That's nice. I mean, what, they're like a dollar? So, you're kind of like saving a dollar. <laughs> well, that's it. I just wanted to test the theory for you guys real quick. Um, and I can't really say for sure that the theory is true. But what I can say is that the pulls are definitely better when you buy three-pack blisters. So... Uh, that's definitely the way to go. Um, yeah, it, I mean, you saw it, and there's other videos out there. Uh, watch people do three-pack blisters, and just gauge it for yourself. But, and as far as I can remember, anytime I opened up like a three-pack blister, it's definitely had better pulls than just a couple of single blisters. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. I know it was a nice, quick, short one. Um, comment down below uh, what kind of stuff you want to see us open next, what you're really interested in hearing, what you want us to talk about. Um, we're, you know, we research information. As soon as we find out when that special delivery Charizard is available, we're gonna put that out too. Um, so we're scouring it every day, waiting for the actual date that it's gonna drop. And when it does, put that video out and make sure you guys <laughs> go get those because obviously the special delivery Pikachu is lying up in price. And why wouldn't a Charizard? So, <laughs> all right, guys, appreciate you stopping by. Go out there, buy you some three pack blisters, and we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate it.